Hello all, welcome to session 17 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain about main method and its importance in C Sharp. So let's get started. So what is this main method and what is its importance in C Sharp programming? So the execution of programs in C Sharp programming starts from main method. If you can see this code here, okay, there are a lot of lines of code written, but when you run this code, the execution will start from the main method, okay? The actual code will run from the main method, guys, okay? So it will start from here, whatever the lines of code that are there in the main method will be executed. Okay, this is how the code will be executed in C Sharp, where the execution will start from the main method. Okay, if you run this code, you see the execution will start from the main method. First, it will print my name and it will stop with the read line. Okay. So I am running the code here. Let's wait for the output to come. In C Sharp, the execution will start from the main method. As you can see here, we got the output that is Arun Motori got printed. So what happened here was when you have run the code, the execution started from the main method and it has executed all the code that is there inside the main method. Okay, that's what happened. So apart from that, without main method, we cannot run C programs. So what if I remove this main method? Okay. So I'll uh, otherwise I'll do one thing. I'll create a normal method case. In place of this main method, I'll create a normal method like this. So public static wide i'll say sample okay sample one this is the name of the method i'm giving instead of giving the name of the method as main method i'm giving the name of the method as sample so what if there is no method inside the class and if you still try to run this class what will happen i'll move these lines of code to this normal method which is not a main method okay it's a non-main method so i'll remove this okay so as i told you in c sharp the execution will start from the main method and also if there is no main method the execution will not happen at all Okay, now if you run this code, it will not run this code, this uh, this the particular thing. You see, when I have run the code last time, right, with the main method, my name got printed in the output, right? So to prove that the execution happened. But here, if I run this code, you see, this code will not run. You see, instead you are getting build errors, okay? So when you run this code, Visual Studio is expecting to have a main method here, but main method is not there in the program. That's why it's giving you the build errors. Okay, let's see the problem. You can simply say no, you can you can see the what exactly has caused this build errors. Okay. Program does not contain a static main method suitable for an entry point. You see, uh, the error itself says that main method is the entry point from which the execution will start. But in this program that you are trying to run, which is written in C sharp, the main method is not there in this code. So what happens? The the Visual Studio code is trying to find the main method. Okay and uh, it's not being found and instead we got the error like this okay the program does not contain a static main method so that we can run the code that's what is happening so without main method can we run the code in c sharp programs no okay the execution will start from the main method entry point is main method in the code okay so execution will, will begin from the main method as an entry point and also without main method we cannot run any code in c sharp programs we cannot run any c sharp code without main method and so now you understood what is main method and what is its importance, okay? What will happen if you don't have that and uh, what if you have that, how the execution will start it, uh, from the main method as an entry point, you understood. But you see, to create the main method, I have to write so much of code. You see, if I remove this part, you see there is a namespace. Inside the namespace, there is a class. Inside the class, I have to create the main method, right? Inside the class, I have to create the main method. If I have to write my own, I have to write like this, public, static, wide i have to remember all these lines okay you can also remember this guys you can even buy hard this uh, code for writing the main method for a while until you understand all these keywords right just buy hard this okay public static wide write main okay m should be capital guys don't write m in low it will not uh, then c sharp will not identify the uh, lower case m okay so you have to write the main method in uppercase and inside this write string of arcs Okay, so just blindly follow this code, guys. Okay, so don't worry what is that and all. So starting of the main method, ending of the main method, and here write the code. So this is how we generally write the code, right? So if you have to create the main method, you have to remember all these keywords and the name of the main method and uh, this uh, parameter also string of arcs. You have to write. You have to remember. So console dot write line. Okay, write line, and here I'll give my name. Okay, this what. I generally write one sample statements I'm writing. So console dot read line, okay, as usual. 
I'll be writing this read line also. Okay. So this is how I have to create a main method, right? So I don't want to create a main method like this. Okay. So because I have to write a lot of lines of code, right? So what I will do here is there is a shortcut guys. Okay. There is a shortcut for creating the main method. So in Visual Studio ID, if you want to create the main method, you don't have to put so much of energy like the way I have did just now. Okay. Simply do one thing for getting this public. First of all, for getting this public keyword, you can say P and say tap tap. The moment you say tap tap, what will happen? Or simply say P once. Let's try it again. P and tap. Single tap is also working fine. Okay. Again, if you say tap means one more tab will come. Okay. So just say P and say tap. Then you will get public. Give a space. And now, what are the other three words here? Static, S for static, V for void, M for main. So what I will do is I'll write SVM. S for static, V for void, M for main, like this, and press tap tap. So two times I pressed the tap after SVM. I pressed tap two times. You see it got auto generated. The main method got auto generated, right? Now you can write all these lines of code inside this. Okay, that's it. So simple it is. So if I remove all this stuff, I can do it again if you want. Remove all this stuff. Let's create the main method inside this class. How to create the main method? First write P. Then press tap. You'll get a public QS space and say S for static, V for void, M for main. Okay, just three letters you give. And then press tap tap. You'll get the main method. Done. This is how simple the main method is. Okay. Now write console dot write line inside the main method and with some sample. This is sample code I'm writing inside the main method. Okay. Just to make it complete. Now I'll say console dot read line. That's it. You see, this is how simple it is to create the main method inside the C sharp programs that to using Visual Studio IDE. If you are creating the main method, there are a lot of shortcuts. So this is a shortcut you have to use. Okay. Just type. SVM. Okay, what is the shortcut here? Just type S, S for static, V for void, M for main, and then press tap key twice. Tap tap. Okay, then the main method will be created for you. So hope guys you understood what exactly is main method and its importance in C sharp. And also I as an additional thing, as an additional thing, I shown you a shortcut, okay, for creating the main method. Okay, while writing the C sharp programs, uh, if you want to create a main method, there is a shortcut I just showed you, which will save a lot of time for you. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.